Hmm, what do we have here? Today the motorhome gets some much needed love with new wheels, potentially a new bull bar and some new fog lamps on that bull bar courtesy of the Grand California, which is still here. It still hasn't sold. It's for sale for 55 grand and it still hasn't shifted. Mental really. Fingers crossed it goes soon. I'm also putting on a pri private plate, the plate that was previously on there. But before we get into any of that, I actually need to go and collect it because well, once again, it's back at Mark Woods getting some things fixed. It's quite a long list and I'll explain more about that when we get there. <laughs> So I'm here at Marquis, I've just collected the uh, van. So there was a fair few issues. Is the first main one, which is that fly screen, I've just told them to take it out. So I haven't got a fly screen anymore. They've took it out because it was just, there was no other work around. I think they've gotten in touch with Mark, uh, with Mobile Vetter to see if they can develop or manufacture one or order one where it opens from the other side because that way they've been out for it to hit off. I don't know why they didn't let, do that in the first place, to be honest. Looks strange now though, it looks bare but at least we'll not have to deal with that noise. Now the beds, they've tightened the one at the back. They can't really find a fault with the one like at the front, which I think is a bit odd because it is a bit loud uh, and it does rattle. The bathroom but the stuff, the same, or they said that fixed all the other bits and bobs. So we'll see what it's like. So I'm on the A1 now and I'm happy to report that basically all the things that I was complaining about initially have been fixed by the bed which kind of still makes a little bit of a noise. As far as they're concerned that is kind of what the beds are like and there's no more room to, to sort of tighten it. The back one doesn't move anywhere near as much as it did before so they have tightened it all and I hadn't noticed actually how much additional noise the fly screen made even when it wasn't back, like banging on stuff because in all fairness since I've had that taken off there's a lot less noise from that area now however all that's to one side for a minute because i've got some big plans for this van now as i mentioned at the beginning of the video i've got wheels and tires hopefully going on later on today i've got a bull bar also hopefully going on later today and also on top of that i've got the laser lamps which i'm hoping they'll also get on now it's not just this that we're doing obviously we've got the electrics obviously we've got the hydraulics i might even go for air suspension as well as that i'm not too sure but another thing what i've had planned for a while is a wrap now here's the thing this is a big old van it's got a lot of side and a lot of top now if i wrap the whole van in a dark color which was the initial plans my concern is it's going to heat up a lot more in the summer which is when we plan on traveling to europe a lot more where it's hotter so the first thing I decided to do was not to go for the kind of wrap that I initially had planned and instead what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it white but wrap some other things. So I jumped into Photoshop, I had a little play around, tried to come up with some ideas of what I might want to look this thing to look like and here is what I come up with. What are your thoughts? I think it looks nice. I wanted it because I didn't think it's a bad looking motorhome. There is some ugly motorhomes, but I honestly didn't think this one is it. I don't think it's a bad one at all. And I am biased, so it might just be me being biased because it's mine. Um, but I thought, let's keep it looking kind of OEM, kind of looking like a mobile vetter, but let's just make it look cooler. So I'm hoping with the black rather than the grey, the addition around the front, the addition around the lights, some different wheels and tires, the bulb one, all the rest of it, we can get rid of the sort of docile old man look that it has currently and change it to something that's just a little bit cooler. And I have also booked it in for the wrap. So next week we're in Birmingham. The week after that, the electric's getting done. The week after that, hopefully the hydraulic legs are getting done. And the week after that, it's getting the wrap. So by mid-November, pretty much all of the things I had planned for this van should be done and then we can look and figure out what else I want to have done because there's probably going to be more let's face it I like messing on with stuff so these are the different plates you can get you've got your standard ones which are better than what comes on the van anyway get your borders your different little flags and all that sort of jazz. Then you got your cool ones, so I'm not keen on the shadow on the other, them ones are nice though. I went for the 4D gel, 
I've had the 3D gel previously. Um, nice cheap way of making your van look a lot better than the ones that the dealerships put on because they're a bit awful. And I need you all to subscribe to it because he gets got one of these. So uh, yeah, jump on the old subscription button and give us a helping hand because uh, I kind of have them hammering us by that much. What I'm going to do, because the fly screen's been removed from the door, the fly screen went along the base of the door as well, so it had two doormat type things, and that's, that sort of went either side of the fly screen. Now that that's not there anymore, I've got two doormats I just move around because they're going to fit properly, because now there's a strip. Now we're gone. I think. There it is. So there's the original there's the yeah they're not quite the same but it's close enough i suppose so here as you can tell was where the runner was previously so i'm going to cut this and that with an additional little bit of space or i'm going to try it though anyway out of this the color like i say isn't a perfect match and it's not as thick is the one that's there. And let's try and see how close I can get this, or whether I end up just bodging it. Already found an issue. Um, it's not long enough. Might just have to leave it for the time being. We'll see. I'm, guess, I'm still gonna try. See what happens with it. I am just eyeballing this. I haven't even measured it, to be honest. That bit guns in there. That bit guns in there. That bit. I mean, the guns in there. I mean, it's a bit of an eye, so. Well, I think the effort was a good effort. And I think, as a concept, it'll work. But obviously not with that. It's too small anyway. We need one that will fit the right size. So I think I'm just gonna scrap this as an idea. And uh, we'll get on to doing the registration plates. Make sure you tell me what the differences are. This is that horrible rub red line it's tragic i've not opened up with that looks minging so i'm gonna get them pulled off now and then i'll get cracking with a new reg registrations are on not a bad little task and they just transform the van and it's nice to actually have my reg on eventually after a little bit so anyway been doing a few little things inside and i want to show you now the first recommendation came from scott um and i will mention him all the time he's not on youtube or any of that sort of stuff um but he recommended this now that is shadow form and it essentially um, it comes in like a block with you get i got a beginner set so i think i got like four of that amount and you basically cut it into the shapes you want, pull it out to the depth you want, jobs are good. And so I made an insert for the drawer. Now, the reason I made an insert for the drawer was because I've been getting these new pans. Now, I need to give a shout out to the Roman Radfords for these recommendations because they've done a video where they went kind of over their essential things, the things that they love for the motorhome and what they would recommend. These were on them. First off, I mean, we've had them a while. Well, not a while, but we've got them because of that. We also got... Which is like a... It's like a drying pad, really. Um, so we've got that because of their video as well. But we also got these, which I think are going to be a game changer. Because if you're anything like me, you just get sick of pots and pans rattling off each other. And more often than not, it's actually the handles. So we've got these. Now these are basically T-file pans. Not them, they're... Yeah. So these are T-file work on the induction and also you get a handle so there's one handle that comes with it you just pop it on clamp it up and then you can use it then you can pop that same handle on another pan or a pot which means now i'm not having to deal with pots and pan handles washing off each other making a ton of noise i can have them stacked up neatly not worrying about the handles and they just live in a permanent place and they never move so thanks for the recommendation you two appreciate it we have bought a fair few things we also bought these where are they called i think they're called cushions or something it's a 
No, an eye beanie cushion. I'm certain it is. This unzips into a blanket. Actually unzips into a blanket and it's a perfect size. We've got two of them. So that was another recommendation. There's more, to be fair. I can't remember everything else that we got. We ordered quite a bit at the time. Um, but I'll put a link to their video if you want to have a look at kind of their essentials and up to now the stuff that we've bought off the back of that video is uh, yeah, been pretty good actually. So thanks for the recommendation guys. Um, I've been getting this actually. So this is a weather station so I can keep track of the weather. Now, I got three sensors with it. I'm only going to use two of them. One I'm going to put in the gas locker just to, that's kind of the most ventilated like locker so I can see what the outside temperature is a little bit better from here when we're chilling. I'm going to put one probably in the garage and that one is its own um, temperature gauge as well. So that way, but I'm just keep an eye on the weather when we're chilling in the van, see how cold it's getting outside, that kind of thing. It'll help us predict a little bit better whether to put the heat on during the night than what we did last time when it was nice and warm in the van. We left the windows open during the night. It was like in the minus. It's not in the van, but outside, which obviously meant the dogs were freezing. Uh, anyway, I need to tidy my mess and I need to get the bulb on. I need to get the instructions and see if I can figure out how the hell I'm going to fit this thing by myself. It's two days later. We've eventually got the wheels on, but before I show you that, we had a bit of a nightmare. So we struggled to get the fog lights off the Grand California. That took ages. We got them off eventually. I couldn't get the bulb bar on that because I'm going to have to cut a section of grill and it's a bit of a nightmare, so that's not on yet. The only thing we did manage to do was to put the wheels and tyres on, but that wasn't even done that day. I had to get that done yesterday because the trolley jack that I had wasn't big enough and I didn't want to balance the whole motorhome on a little bit of wood or some chocks or anything like that, but they're on. Slight disclaimer though, I like the look of it, but I think it'll be a little bit divisive. I think divisive is the word because it's a motorhome and the wheels kind of don't fit with the motorhome as it stands. But as you have seen now, the plans that I've got for it, hopefully you'll see the vision, the vision that I've got for the future of this van. But without further ado, let's have a look at the new wheels. <laughs> There we have it, what's your thoughts? When I first put them on, I wasn't so sure, but I've worn to them. I did initially order black, but they didn't have any of the black left, so I ended up getting the grey, which I think will work well because, like you've seen now with the render, obviously the grey bits will be staying. I mean, not the bits along the bottom, but some of the stickers that are currently on will be staying. So I think it'll look fine, I like them. Um, I went for the exact same size as the wheels that were fitted, mainly because the rear arch doesn't really have a lot of space. The wheels are like shimmed forward slightly and if I got anything bigger, they would catch and I just didn't want the hassle of having to get other bits and bobs adjusted. Um, tire size and everything is exactly the same. I've went for BF Goodrich Q02s, the all-terrain tires. I've had them now on three vans. Uh, I've had five sets of them and they're a little bit noisier. You can run them slightly lower PSI they work great in the winter, albeit not on wet grass sometimes, as I found out in the Grand California, but they do work well, so I would recommend them. But I have got a couple of additional modifications. Another one that I think I stole from the Radfords, actually. Bear with us. A ring doorbell. Now, the reason I want a ring doorbell is because, obviously, I'm going to have Starlink fitted to this, and it'll be on probably permanently or most of the time. Um, with the 720 watt solar, it should be enough to at least power that without worrying about draining the batteries when we're not here, providing, obviously, there is some sun. Now, I want to be able to check up on the van when we're not there, when we're not maybe near the van, when we're not at home, or while we're out and about on a walk, I want to be able to be alerted and just be a little bit something that'll maybe dissuade people from trying to break in or anything, really. And I thought, what better way than this little ring doorbell and in all fairness the good thing about that is i got it on the prime deal so i saved quite a bit i think i got like 30 percent off so i got that one with this which is the indoor camera that comes with it just slide that open uh, so i'll put that up as well and then that way we've got kind of outside and inside covered so that's what i'm going to do but i am i'm not screwing this on i'm gonna double-sided tape this on so i don't know how good that's going to be I'm not that convinced that this will stay on with just that. And I just didn't really want to be screwing stuff in if I can help it, um, which I can help. I don't necessarily need to do this. Um, 
The only other thing I could potentially do, maybe, is I could, hold on, that could work. Right, back with a different plan. I've used this many times. It's like a heavy duty Velcro. Now, this will work hopefully better for two reasons. The first being that it's thicker. So it should mean that the button to ring the doorbell isn't being sort of pressed, which would be a bit of a pain if every time we're driving, I'm just getting constant notifications because I think someone's at the door. Um, and it's extraordinarily strong very strong this stuff sometimes a bit too strong either side of the bell and like i say it should stick out far enough now where it won't press the actual doorbell button so put it in the middle now much 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 better view uh, currently the house um which will work perfect as you're seeing trying to take it off it ain't budging anywhere um doesn't even move and I can still get the blind up and down. What about that? So that's cameras up, that camera's up. Whether we actually need them or not really is another story. Probably not. However, you kind of gone wrong. We might as well, you know what I mean? So um, I'm gonna leave that up for now. Obviously, they ain't really gonna work well where we are, wouldn't have thought, because obviously unless I've got Wi-Fi at the campsite or somewhere, I can't, these need to be connected to a Wi-Fi obviously for them to send the signal. Once we've got the electrics done and Starlinks up, then they'll work. Until then, not so much, but I got them through. I thought, why not install them? So like I said, that's everything for this video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in a little bit. Goodbye.